My name is Mateusz and in this video we will explain how to test EDI and B2B scenarios in the SAP integration suite with TPM using the INT4 suite. Testing B2B EDI scenarios in SAP integration suite involves a series of iFlows with different steps. INT4 suite offers flexibility in testing these B2B scenarios because testing can start from the inside focusing on a specific mapping validation or begin at step 1b, the process direct flow, by simulating any used sender adapter. The TPM won't recognize a difference whether the message is sent by the original system or by int for suite as all the necessary parameters are passed. A crucial feature of the int for suite is the flexibility it offers when simulating and injecting messages into SAP integration suite iFlows. You can locate relevant outputs using correlation ID, application IDs, or custom variables to match the payloads. In addition, we have the payload matching solution, which is super helpful for very common scenarios of EDI batch messages that are being split into multiple IDOCs. Thanks to this solution, we can make sure we make the right comparison and validate relevant IDOCs with each other. The scenario you will see can be used for both continuous regression testing of the TPM in SAP Cloud Integration or for SAP POBTP to SAP Integration Suite TPM migrations. In our example, the external system Best Bikes sends EDFACT sales order messages via an AS2 channel, which later on are mapped into IDOCs that land in our SAP S4HANA system. Let's jump into the int 4 suite cockpit. On the left side, we can see the folder structure containing test cases for specific scenarios. For the SAP integrations with TPM, we can download the structure of our TPM directly and int 4 suite will create the structure of the folders that match our TPM scenarios configuration. If needed, we can always update the structure and make sure it's always up to date. While we update the structure, of course the already collected test cases remain in their folders. Let's jump into the folder with our sales order scenario and on the right hand side we should see all the test cases collected. These messages can be collected directly from the SAP integration suite or migrated from your SAP PO messages in case of SAP PO to SAP IS migration. If you want to learn more about the test cases creation process, please check our uh, other videos about these topics. If we jump into the details of test case, in the input file, we can see the raw EDFACT sales order sent by Best Bikes. And if we go to the output file, we can see the IDOC sent to the SAP S4HANA system that was generated after the mapping logic. As you can see, all of the messages related to the sales order flow are assigned to the same automation object. Let's open it. Automation object contain configuration for each test case execution and define the iFlow under test, test conditions, and optional data manipulation. In the automation objects for the TPM, we have the details of the iFlow to which messages are injected by INT4 suite. In our case, this is step 1b, write a message to a message queue and the details of the input block in SAP Cloud Integration. Because of the nature of the TPM chain of iFlows, in this automation object, we also have the option to provide details of the other automation object that contains information about the iFlow from which we will get the IDOC message. In this automation object, we can see the iFlow name and the block from the iFlow from which the payload will be taken and automatically compared. This gives us flexibility to design the testing in the way that supports our strategy and simplifies maintenance as one single test case can contain payloads from multiple iFlows that are related to each other. 
If we jump back to the main automation object used for the message injection to the SAP Cloud integration, we can see the test execution parameters, like the adapter type and the additional headers that will be used during the test cases execution. Here, we also have to provide the process direct endpoint, which in our case is a standard endpoint from the step 1b. Thanks to the additional parameters, the TPM knows how to treat the message, which mapping guidelines have to be executed, and this guarantees that the message will be processed as it would be a message from a real sender. In the automation object, we can also optionally manipulate the payloads. For example, in our scenario, we have the PO variable created that will read the original value of the SAP purchase order from the test case, and with every single execution, it will change the value to a unique value using the int for suite number range. We have a lot of flexibility with the optional data manipulation with the relevant actions for variables. The automation object setup is one-time action, and once it's done, we can create hundreds or thousands of test cases and apply them with the same processing logic. This is, in a nutshell, the automation object setup. Now, with the basic knowledge of how the int for suite configuration for the SAP integration suite TPM works, let's jump back to the int for suite cockpit to execute test cases. In order to execute test cases, I can select the ones to be executed and click on Execute All with Parameters, where we can dynamically provide the environment to which I want to send messages. This way, we can send the same test cases to the development, quality, or any other environment dynamically that allows us testing independently of the B2B partners, even if they are not connected to our dev environment. Now, int for suite injected the messages to step 1b, write message to message queue, and it will validate whether the injected messages have been successfully processed in the step 3 receiver communication flow. And at the end, it will compare the payloads after mapping. Once the test case execution is complete, you can see its summary. If we would test multiple partners or scenarios, Thanks to this, we would see at the first glance for which scenarios it is working and for which we have some issues. Next, we can click on the specific test case to see its details like the environment on which it was executed and the new application message ID. But most importantly, we can see the comparison of our mapping, where on the left side, we can see the original output to which the comparison is always done. And on the right side, we can see newly created tested message created based on the SAP Cloud Integration logic based on the injected EDFACT sales order message to the step 1b. Just to summarize what has happened, we can check the flow of the messages in the SAP Cloud Integration Monitor. First, the int for suite injected the message to the int for dispatcher. int for dispatcher sent the message to the step 1b with the edfact payload and all necessary parameters for the TPM logic. Then, the subsequent iFlows of the TPM have been executed, and int for took the payload from the configured in the automation object step 3 receiver communication block and compared the saved reference output in the test case with the actual tested one. I hope this clarifies how int for suite can support the TPM in SAP integration suite. Thank you for watching.